Our goals here keep you strong, mobile, and independent for the rest of your life, all right? With that being said, <clears throat> I wanted to cover a topic that's pretty relevant to us right now, uh, natural disasters, and how natural disasters disproportionately affect our seniors. So according to research, uh, in times of disaster, there are consequences that are obvious, such as loss of property, and dramatic loss of life, which we have witnessed here in North Carolina and then some here in Florida. Uh, there are also unseen consequences that if left untreated can prove to be just as fatal. So in my own personal experience during Hurricane Irma, I actually had three clients that passed away from the consequences of a hurricane. Disruption of schedule was a big one. A disruption of medication schedule led to two deaths. Guys, and these are snowballs, all right? These are not immediate. These are snowballs that happen. And then I had a lady, unfortunately, lived in an older building. She was on the second floor, did not have an elevator, and her uh, spouse was unable to get her downstairs, and they stayed in this hot room, this hot home, this hot condo unit um, for about two days before he was able to get 911 out and get out there and get her. And unfortunately, she just got dehydrated and deteriorated from there and ultimately passed away as a result. So these are all consequences people don't think about. There's a lot of deaths. That's how come you see that death toll. Not only are people finding, you know, bodies and things like that, and we've experienced that here in Collier County, but what also happens are the effects and the consequences you don't see, all right? So the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention say that because Florida is so prone to horror, horror, hurricanes, the Department of Health recommends that older adults living in a state pack, uh, in the state, pack a 30-day supply of medication and a two-week supply of special diet foods and supplements when a hurricane is expected, all right? Now, if you do that now, you'll be prepared, all right? So that's a 30-day supply of medication, and a two-week supply of food. And there's a lot of companies now that offer you the MREs and things like that, meals ready to eat. I actually was in a Walgreens yesterday. I had a prescription called in. They didn't receive it. It was called in Friday. And because the power was out, they didn't receive it. So doing my due diligence, I suspected that. However, there was a couple of gentlemen there that were really upset because their prescriptions were called in, I'm not sure what day, but the pharmacy did not receive it. One of these fellas was looking after his spouse and she needed this medication. He was really upset, you know, so these are the things we need to think about along with keeping ourselves safe. All right. Another thing, oftentimes Walgreens CVS can transfer your prescriptions to other locations. So I don't know how that works going from state to state, but if you're in the path that it works. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Sue, Sue told just, phoned in and said that you can transfer your medication. So if you're in Florida and there's a hurricane coming or you're in Texas and you want to get to Arkansas, you can have CVS or Walgreens transfer your medications, all right? So this also goes in and talks about malnutrition, guys, and some of the things that you don't think about. In the nursing homes, a lot of these folks will transfer these patients, these residents, out of these nursing homes. My daughter is on the emergency team for one of the hospitals here in our local area. And these nurses, they go in, guys, and they are there for three, four, five days. They bring a bag, they bring their clothes, and they stay overnight. And sometimes in the last case in Ian, this hospital lost power and lost water. So they were taking people from hel by helicopter to different locations, different hospitals. So this is something to think about. It becomes a bit more serious as we get older. So I just want to drop that little bug in your ear, guys. Next time a hurricane is headed this way, and thank goodness we're at the end of hurricane season. All right, fingers crossed. Right. Saying our prayers. <laughs> I know we have a disturbance out there. So, all right, I'm glad everyone is safe and everyone has made it to the other side. And with that being said, let's stand. Let's go behind our chairs.